Hello friends. Now we are going to study classification of transmission line. Basically, classification of transmission line is based on following points. The first one is it is based on the length of the transmission line. The second one is based on operating voltages. And third thing, based on effect of capacitances. And the fourth is based on wavelength. So guys, if you will see clearly uh, from the books, you will not find the exact method of classification of transmission line. But I sought out different different point from different different books, but I am not sure whether it is 100% correct or not. I am just telling you because I do not want to bluff you or I do not want to lie to you. So this is the classification of transmission line. But in general, the transmission line has divided at three points. That is first one is first transmission line is short transmission line. First is short transmission line. So first one is short transmission line. For short transmission line, let us assume LF, LF, is less than 4000 and LF is multiplying factor basically always remember LF is multiplying factor so if LF is less than 4000 and for F is equal to 50 Hertz if you will put 50 Hertz then the L should be equal to or less than uh, 80 kilometer so L should be for short transmission line, the length should be 80 km for 50 Hertz. The second one is medium transmission line. The second one is medium transmission line. In case of medium transmission line, this LF lies between 10,000 and 4,000. So for F is equal to 50 Hertz, you will get the value of L lies between 80 kilometer and 200 kilometer. This is the second point. And the third point is long transmission line. Long transmission line, if the LF value is greater than 10,000. If LF value is greater than 10,000 for F is equal to 50 Hertz, you will get L should be greater than or equal to 200 kilometer. So this is the classification of transmission line. And uh, now in the next lecture, we are going to deal with differently short transmission line, medium transmission line and long transmission line. So this is all about the classification of transmission line. Thank you.